As we've just seen, veterans with spinal cord injuries face a number of challenges. In Milwaukee, VA is using a specially designed device to help them move more easily from place to place. You may not know it from talking with him, but Michael Thomas has something of a reputation around the Clement J. Zavlocki VA Medical Center. Thomas is a patient being treated in its spinal cord unit, spending most of his time confined to a wheelchair or his bed. But he satisfies his need for speed with a piece of equipment developed in this very hallway. The device Thomas is driving around like a sports car is called a prone cart. The prone cart was designed and nurtured for 20 years by this man, Professor Pascal Malossigné. From his office at the Milwaukee Institute of Art and Design, Professor Malossigné adopted the prone cart as a labor of love because he saw its potential to improve the lives of those confined to wheelchairs. What uh, will make their life a little bit easier and uh, see if you can translate that into physical models, physical prototypes and, and try that out. His office walls are lined with models of the prone cart as it evolved over two decades. With feedback from veterans who used early versions of the prone cart, the design changed dramatically. Today, it's more like a battery-powered sports car. The prone cart gives them the freedom needed to move around, while at the same time protecting them. What we wanted to do is make sure that the patient felt that they were into a safe uh, you know, environment, uh, that the structure itself was not going to be collapsing on them. Michael Thomas feels so comfortable on the new prone cart. He's been known to take it out for a spin longer than he's actually supposed to. And that is how he's gotten his reputation as a high performance driver. After years of research and development, the prone cart is ready for production, ready to be used by patients at VA spinal cord injury centers across the country. To learn more about the prone cart and how it can help improve the lives of veterans living with spinal cord injuries, go to www.research.va.gov.